All right. Well, we see people with yeah. their pumpkins out there. And, Already. <laughs> and, and everything's getting ready for Halloween and, and, and fall. fall. Yeah. And fall weather's not getting here anytime yeah. soon. No, no. Uh, in fact, it's going to stay warm for one more day, but some drier conditions as the first cool front comes our way tomorrow. What a beautiful day it was today, but it's still humid. It still feels like summer. And it's going to really take another two or three weeks at least before the, the first strong cool front hits down. That's about the typical time of year that we do get it. So at sunset, a beautiful day over uh, Sarasota Bay. And we only had a few showers in the area. Yesterday at this time, there was this parade of showers and thunder showers coming across the state, collided with a gulf front and it just produced very heavy rain and vivid lightning but that is pretty much not happening today and we did have one small area of rain that came up from western charlotte county up englewood up to venice uh, this has been in the last two or three hours but in the last few images you can see even that rain has moved offshore and right now at sarasota bradenton international airport 86 degrees the dew point still high 73 we're going to get those dew points down by three, four, five degrees, which will make it feel a little better in about 48 hours. 65% the humidity right now. And speaking of those dew points, here is the forecast for the next two days of what the dew points will do. You can see behind the front already 57, but we're still in the moist tropical 74 degree dew point range here. But as the front comes down, you can see even up around Gainesville getting into the 50s. Boy, it'd be nice if we had dew points in the 50s, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. And by late on Wednesday, we have dew points around 66, which will feel more comfortable than the 74, 75. Our tropical weather outlook takes us to Western Europe, and this is the remnants of Hurricane Ophelia. It came closer to Europe than any other hurricane in recorded history. The strongest hurricane to hit Ireland since uh, Debbie in 1966, and Debbie came in from the due west. So this was one that came right across Europe. We have some incredible pictures coming in from Ireland as the storm just pretty much shut down Ireland and Northern Ireland today with wind gusts over 87 miles an hour along the uh, south coast. This was just really an unprecedented storm. Meanwhile, in England, the storm drew up smoke from fires over Spain and Sahara dust to turn the sky red over London and a good part of the British Isles, it was a very eerie thing to see from what I hear across the uh, UK. Now, if we look at our tropical weather outlook, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, really nothing to speak of. But we do have one little area off the Atlantic coast that if it does become something, we'll move out to sea. Now, here is our weather headlines for the next uh, couple, three days. We have the season's first cool front. I don't expect miracles from this. It will bring some scattered showers and thunder showers over the area and somewhat cooler air by late on Wednesday. If we take a look at our future cast, showing the high pressure behind the front will drag in some much cooler and drier weather, not much cooler, much drier air uh, in about two days' time. The front passes tomorrow afternoon into Tuesday and stalls out and really doesn't do anything. We have drier air behind it and the scattered showers will dissipate, so more dry conditions coming up in a couple of days. On the water, it's going to get a little rough, I think, tomorrow afternoon. Seas two to four feet and maybe even more than that on Wednesday. The temperature at the beach, 86 degrees. The water temperature is still 85. It's hanging in there, but this front may change things. Here's your seven-day outlook. 50% chance of showers and thunder showers tomorrow, 30% on Wednesday. And a look at that chance drop off to only 10% to nil by Friday. Next chance of rain on Sunday. That's your weather, Jacqueline. All right. Thank you so much, Steve.